Today I am going to narrate a Zen story titled Finding a Diamond on a Muddy Road. Guru was the emperor teacher of his time. Nevertheless, he used to travel alone as a wandering mendicant. Once when he was on his to Edo, the cultural and political center of the shogunate, he approached a little village near Takanaka. It was evening and a heavy rain was falling. Guru was thoroughly wet. His straw sandals were in pieces. At a farmhouse near the village, he noticed four or five pairs of sandals in the window and decided to buy some dry ones. The woman who offered him the sandals, seeing how wet he was, invited him to remain for the night at her home. Gudo accepted, thanking her. He entered and recited a sutra before the family shrine. He then was introduced to the woman's mother and to her children. Observing that the entire family was depressed, Gudo asked, What was wrong? My husband is a gambler and a drunkard, the housewife told. When he happens to win, he drinks and becomes abusive. When he loses, he borrows money from others. Sometimes when he becomes thoroughly drunk, he does not come home at all. What can I do? I will help him, said Gudo. Here is some money. Get me a gallon of fine wine and something good to eat. Then you may retire. I will meditate before the shrine. When the man of the house returned about midnight, quite drunk, he bellowed, Hey wife, I am home. Have you something for me to eat? I have something for you, said Gudo. I happened to get caught in the and your wife kindly asked me here for the night. In return, I have bought some wine and fish, so you might as well have them. The man was delighted. He drank the wine at once and laid himself down on the floor. Gudo sat in meditation beside him. In the morning, when the husband awoke, he had forgotten about the previous night. Who are you? Where do you come from? He asked Gudo, who was still meditating. I am Gudo of Kyoto, and I am going on to Edo, replied the Zen master. The man was utterly ashamed. He apologized profusely to the teacher of his emperor. Gudo smiled. Everything in this life is impermanent, he explained. Life is where if you keep on gambling and drinking, you will have no time left to accomplish anything else and you will cause your family to suffer too. The perception of the husband awoke as if for a dream. You are right, he declared. How can I ever repay you for this wonderful day? Let me see you off and carry your things a little way. If you wish, assented Gudo. The two started out. After they had gone three miles, Gudo told him to return. Just another five miles, he begged Gudo. They continued on. You may return now, suggested Gudo. After another ten miles, the man replied. Return now, said Gudo, when the ten miles had been passed. The man declared, I am going to follow you all the rest of my life. Modern Zen teachers in Japan spring from the lineage of a first master who was the successor of Gudo. His name was Yunan, the man who never turned back.